if you were a cancer patient of mine, I would have taken that out. And they are the most highly surveilled patients on earth. Mm -hmm. So nobody would sit around telling their cancer patient, it's okay to leave a ruptured implant in. Certainly not me, who had did that my entire career. We would take them to the operating room and take out all that material that's ruptured. So the, that more and more evidence that's scientifically based, there's no questioning it, is coming forth. And um, I'm happy because I've, I feel like I've had quite a big target on my back for a long time now. And it's, it's actually very gratifying for the patients. I'm, I'm fine with getting you know, things thrown at me. But for the patients to like understand it, and we just did a video the other day about it uh, on our YouTube channel, to help just explain it better and more easily. Yeah. So biofilm, 29%, like, say like if there's a rupture and it's you know is it bad if saline is seeping into your system because they they told us it was safer is it silicone like what's the percentage of that leakage inflammation problem happening poisoning yeah, i'm going to use this to address the tmz mold thing so mold is not a thing on implants okay. so i've looked at thousands of pcr tests on implants and and fungus which is mold is a fungus is not a thing and i think the first thousand we looked at there was like five so, and those mostly come from people in Houston, just so you know. <laughs> Moldy. Um, Moldy for us, you know, that, that, that interaction, if you will, the, the saline should be sterile as it was placed sterile in the operating room. And if it deflates, then you know you had a rupture and people would call and come in. Um, the thing with silicone, which in 2012, 13, silicone was really reintroduced to the marketplace uh, broadly and a lot of people went straight back to using silicone filled devices. Now those devices should have gel that everybody's heard the concept, uh, gummy bear. So the highly cohesive gel implants, the gel shouldn't go anywhere. Um, still, if it's ruptured, you know, my advice to you is to get that removed because that interaction in your body may not serve you. That can really stimulate your immune system. 